Hello all, today we're flying on Korean Air Prestige Class on the airline's all business class deck on the A380. I'm excited because this is my second A380 flight in almost 7 years. Better yet, it is on Korean Air KE which is known for its high quality servers throughout the world. To compete with airlines and customer demand, Korean Air reactivated some of their A380s in 2022. As a result, the airline flies an A380 on their morning flights to Suwanapum Airport. For prestige passengers departing from Incheon, you can use the premium check-in at counter A. First class passengers have their private lounge while prestige passengers share the check-in booth with premium airline members. As prestige passengers, we can use either the East or West Prestige Class Lounge. We decided to use the West Lounge since it was closer to gate 231. I will admit, I prefer the Asiana Business Class Lounge in Terminal 1. The cow lounges to me are pretty dull and lacking in character. Now it's time to board. Gate 231 is designed to accommodate the A380 Super Jumbo. Access to the second floor is available while walking up the bridge. It took a couple of minutes to get to the door. There is a capacity for 94 passengers in the Prestige cabin. The entire second floor is dedicated only to business class with Prestige sleeper seats installed. Our seats are 19 G and H. Each passenger was given a blanket and a pillow for sleeping. The monitor is roughly 15 inches or 39 centimeters. The IFB can be controlled via a remote control located near the armrest. The armrest also contains the fold-out tray. To the right of me were the seat controllers which are pretty responsive. There is also a small power supply and USB port for charging. These are older seats so it is not compatible with current seat plugs. The seat pitch is roughly 77 inches and the width lies around 21 inches. Of course, I am not a giant so the size was more than enough for me. Again, the seat reclines at a 180 angle. Lastly, there is a small reading light for those flying in the evening. After sitting down, we were given a welcome drink and snacks. Of course, champagne is a must. We did encounter a power issue, so our flight was delayed for almost an hour as we moved back to the gate. After finally taking off, our meal started an hour into our flight. First, the flight attendants came around to place a white tablecloth on our trays. Then we were given our pre-drink service, which was herb marinated scallops of mango puree. Of course, it was easy to finish in one bite. The mango and scallop were a nice little tropical start for our meal. Next was our appetizer, which was smoked salmon with lemon herb dressing. After, the main course came out, which was seared beef tenderloin with potato and vegetables. The appearance of the tenderloin was a bit underwhelming for me. However, it was still super juicy and moist, so there was no complaints there. However, I do wish that the beef tenderloin looked a little more moist. Finally, dessert was seasonal fruit and ice cream, so I decided to have both. Overall, I gave my whole meal experience 4 out of 5 stars. After such a big meal, I decided to walk around the cabin. There are roughly 5 bathrooms scattered around the second floor. Each bathroom is a standard A380 bathroom with a few amenities. However, there is one female dedicated bathroom in the back of the cabin near the bar. As for the bar, initially Korean Air partnered with Absolute for drinks, but these days only snacks are provided at the bar. Quite a bummer as the bar experience was one of the reasons why I wanted to fly on the Korean A380. Downstairs, you can do some duty-free shopping and take a peek at what was once the first class cabin. Overall, the Prestige Sleeper Seats are not Korean Air's best business class product. However, I thought the overall flight experience was outstanding. The flight attendants were all very attentive, the cabin was clean, and the food was great. If the A380 was retrofitted with Apex Suites, I think it would have been perfect. If you are flying to Bangkok from Korea, I suggest Asiana Airlines. Their A380s and A350s are equipped with their latest Smartium business class seats. You can check out more on my video from New York to Incheon. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.